everybody, my name is Kathy Jarvis and you're at Country Girl. And guys, this is my favorite time of year. It's spring, it's a little cold today. But I'm gonna show you some of the things that are going on around here that we've been working on. I've got the bucket garden. They're all set up. They're waiting for my potatoes to come. I ordered them last January and they still haven't come. But I've got them ready. I got the dirt ready. We're ready to rock and roll on those. I recently turned the compost so it's ready. In this bed, we still have the rosemary, which is starting to come back to life from the winter. And we have a kale that over overwintered. And this is going to be my patch where I'm going to put the summer squash in, in here with that kale. And um, I'm going to cover it with the insect netting, which is supposed to be here today also. I'm going to put cabbages in this bed. And I'm going to put either this netting, or if I have enough of the insect netting, I'll put it. Because if I use this netting, I'm going to have to get my portable sewing machine out and sew it together so it's all one piece. This is my asparagus bed and my peas. And you can just see the peas starting to come up. Over here is my strawberry and blueberry beds. The blueberries aren't doing too good, but the strawberries are starting to pop up and be pretty. I need to get in here and weed it, waiting for a warmer day. These are my two older strawberry beds. These are about, they're put in the ground around 2015. So this year I'm going to put, I'm gonna take these up, save what little strawberries are in there and put a, another metal bed here and convert these to two metal beds. I always liked these pyramids. I thought they were so pretty in the catalog. They were pretty for about one year. And then they all sunk down into a, the uh, circles, all at the same level, which was not what I wanted at all. The grapes, they all have fabric underneath of them to keep the weeds down. I had awful time with them last year, keeping the weeds down. So hopefully this will help. They have been trimmed, pruned, staked up, they're ready to rock and roll. I just need to add a little fertilizer yet. I haven't done that yet. The blackberries, blackberries have been trimmed. As you can see, they're starting to put out the little ones. So hopefully we'll have some good blackberries this year. I also have the fabric I need there because that way I don't have to weed as much. I'll still have to hand weed around the base because you keep them you keep the fabric at least two inches away from the um, cane's bottom. And I'm supposed to get some more. I ordered two more blackberries. I'm gonna stretch a trellis across the back there and put those on that, plus the one that lived from the um, cuttings I did last year. Another strawberry bed. They're coming back nicely. And these are my beds that are ready for planting when it gets warmer. Haven't got anything in them yet. Got the plan, but I haven't got anything in them yet. Gonna put the bean trails here. This is my parsley that I overwintered. And I'm not for sure. For some reason, they have started regrowing. And then I got the chives. So I'm gonna have to get out here, take the straw off, and dig these up and see if they're woody or if they're still good, and go from there. Strawberry, another strawberry plant. This patch never did do well, so we're gonna give it another year. And if it doesn't do well next year, I will dig them up and put new soil in and try them in another location. 
inside the little greenhouse. We had a problem with it the other day. We had a windstorm and it tore all the way across. So it's being held together with duct tape right now until I get, um, find another cover or decide to put some, um, to convert it to a regular greenhouse. But we got oregano growing here. That's, this is a three year old plant. It just keeps growing, which is great. And uh, the one little blackberry root, uh, cutting that I actually took. And then I've got this ready over here. I'm gonna put some probably tomatoes in here. I got Brussels sprouts on this side. And that's all it's gonna go in here this, this year. Mainly I just use this shelving stuff to start new plants to move into the, out here or into the greenhouse come summer. I still haven't got around to finishing the gar or the inside of the flooring on the garden shop, but we're doing the best we can. Inside the main greenhouse, it's looking really good. Now this area over here. We had Brussels sprouts in it last year and cauliflower and uh, cabbage and broccoli. And it's all gone to seed. These are all last year's plants. I haven't gotten around to pulling up yet. And here I have broccoli coming up. I have turnips. We have radishes. We have beets. We have Swiss chard. I have celery peas, my garlic. I'm leaving this space here for tomatoes. And that uh, Swiss chard is um, a year. It was last year's Swiss chard, so I may take that one up and put uh, tomatoes all the way across here. I have my big, big lettuce, my red lettuce, my black leaf Simpsons. Uh, here I'm getting ready to plant spinach and um, now I got new Swiss chard here. Kale that got beat by the weather. I might have to take those bottom leaves off. They got frost. I got some carrots coming up and spinach, more lettuce, lettuce and broccoli rob just coming up. So that's doing well. These are the peppers I tried to overwinter. As you can see, they didn't make it, so they're coming up. And same thing with the eggplant. Uh, all those kale on the end, they're from last year. This kale is from last year. I'll probably take all them out and put new ones in on here. So, let's go out and see what else is going on. This is the bee garden. Uh, it looks like all the perennials in the back are coming up. We got um, English daisies, we got um, irises, we got hollyhocks, and more um, irises. I don't see the um, flocks yet, and I don't see the um, Shasta daisies. The front part I'll plant um, glads and um, annuals in the front part. The melon garden, I've had a real hard time with this. I've expanded it, and for some reason that patch of green grass that you see there and the big piece of plastic it just will not stay put. <coughs> Excuse me. I've anchored it. I put staples in it. I put blocks on it. It just, that's not want to stay. So we'll have to work on that again and see if I can get it. I still would like to put fabric around these trees, but you can see they're starting to bud out also. 
This is the apple tree. It's starting to out buds. Everything's budding out. Now these are quite old trees. I haven't really been doing very well, so this past spring earlier, I pruned them and fertilized them. So hopefully they will grow better. I need to clean this mess out. Got some dead stuff I need to pull out. A little cherry tree. It's budding out. It's so pretty when things start to bud out. This is the newest apple tree. I don't see any. Oh, there we go. Yep. It's just starting. Good. You always worry about new trees when you first get them. And this is the first year they're here, so. And there's the second one. And it's got a little bud also. Good. Another cherry tree. Just starting to bud out. This is my mysterious tree. This thing is now at least 10 years old. It's never bloomed that I know of. But I thought I'd give it one more chance and see if it blooms. It's supposed to have been a golden apple. That's what it's supposed to have been. I'm not so sure. We'll find out. large cherry tree we did some pruning on it it was getting too close to the wars up there so we had to prune it back on this side so that it did not interfere with those wars and it seems like it's doing okay it's starting to bud peach tree is starting to put out the little buds little blooms we trimmed it back this year also. This was one of the trees that we kind of let go because it was before we realized that, before we realized how to actually prune a tree. So it's an older tree. Red buds are starting to have a reddish glow to them. Pear tree doesn't look like it's doing anything yet. Let's go put a close to it and see. It might just be breaking. Yep, just starting to break bud. The little plum tree has decided it's going to bloom. starting to bloom. Hopefully we'll get some pears. It's a couple years old and last year was the first year I got plum off of it. I'm sorry I said pear but it's a plum. Last year's first time I got a plum off of it. It really was nice and sweet so hopefully I fertilized it and pruned it also. Um, it just it never did take off so I'm hoping that with the fertilizer it will take off and grow a little bit more. Another peach tree is also starting to put out some blooms. Not many yet, but I did I did trim this back also this year. I shortened up a lot of the branches, some that were too heavy last year and just couldn't hold the weight that snapped. We trimmed those back. So hopefully we'll get a good harvest. It's already been sprayed once. Um, after I should have sprayed it before it started budding out, but we had rain, rain, constant rain. Temperature was way below what it said to use the product on. So we missed that opportunity. So now I have to wait until after it finishes blooming and then I can spray it. And hopefully we can prevent that brown rot that we had last year. 
I did climb all through the tree and remove all the fruit last year. And I cleaned up the ground underneath of it. The tree's been fertilized. So hopefully it will get rid of the brown rot this year. So that's as far as the outside garden is going. The flower garden, they're doing really nice. I need to weed them again. I just weeded them not too long ago, but they've been popping up like crazy. So let's look at some of these little plants. They have this little grape hyacinth that I did not plant. I don't know how it got there, but it's there. The sedan's doing fine. The irises are all blooming, uh, not blooming, but growing nicely. And this looks good. The daylilies are up. Uh, the crepe myrtle hasn't shown any signs of life yet. The, um, haven't seen the uh, pineys in here. Oh, yep. Yep. Pineys are just starting to come up. Those are the red ones among the daylilies. So they're coming up. This is a mess I've got to take care of. And that is the pond. You can see the day little, not the day little, but the water lily. That big, looks like a snake up on top of the surface. That is the rhizome of the day lily. It goes from one side of the pond to the other, back to the other, and back. And you can see the leaves coming. So I need to get into here, pull these up, and divide them out. The uh, rose that we trimmed back a couple weeks ago is doing wonderful. It's all budded out, leaves on it, looking nice. Again, this crepe myrtle hasn't shown any signs yet. Um, the irises here are fine. Need to trim this yew. This is the other rose bush that we trimmed. It's nicely leafed out. Now, over here, I just cleaned this porch and look at that. I got leaves everywhere again. <sighs> Decided to keep the cats off my cushions by hanging them up so I can just drop them when I need them. Keeps the cats out of them. Still got the table I need to finish re refinishing. We started it last year before it got the cold weather, so we just covered it up. We'll work on it. Uh, stubbies are coming up nicely. Okay, what we got over here? Um, don't see any hostas yet. Lilacs are starting to form buds. Right. The daffodils, narcissus are all looking so pretty. Um, got these asters coming up. I'm going to try to transplant them. Every year I try to transplant them. They never grow anywhere else, but they always grow here, and I don't want them here. The bird garden, you can see the daffodils in there doing nicely. I need to get out here and weed again. Let's go. That's not my cat. Hmm. All right, back in the back here. The day lilies are coming up beautifully in this area. This whole area is day lilies. And it looks really nice. I don't see any weeds in them, so I'm not going to have to worry about that. It's maybe one or two over there. The herb garden, I haven't even opened it yet to, to see what's going on in there so we'll see what happens I know I got asparagus over here then I plant annuals on the either side of it I'm supposed to have oregano and I think the lemon bombs coming back 
but we'll just have to give it a little bit more time and see what's going on back there. Now, in the backyard, yeah, it's really pretty back here right now. We have all the narcissuses are blooming, the daffodils. These are the white ones with the yellow centers. They are so pretty. The bridal reef hedges are blooming. I cut those back two years ago and they're doing really beautiful. So I'll probably cut them back down again after they bloom this year. Daylilies are coming up nicely. I do not see any um, Virginia bluebells yet. On this side, we have a yellow bush and more daffodils. Whoops. Peaches. <laughs> All right. My two persimmon trees have not produced any leaves yet. I keep checking them each day. Now I planned some flowers in here last year. And I keep looking for them and I never could find them. And I see the Virginia bluebells are coming up. But they're not blooming yet. I need to get in here and get the uh, the wind blew that chair over. I need to take it up. But I do believe one of my trillions that I ordered. I'm thinking that's what this is. It's a new one. I haven't seen it before. And that little plant right there. That's a new one here. It hasn't been here before. And I planned trillions and bleeding hearts in this area so we'll see what if that's either one of those so that's the tour of what's going on this spring out here and like i said it's my favorite time of year i really enjoy watching everything burst with new life so. Oh, it sounds like somebody's happy. And it's Lady. Hello, Lady. Can you say hi? You can't. Come on. Come here, Lady. Yeah. Good Lady. Come on. Good girl. Yeah. Hi, Lady. That's the lady. She's about five years old also and still producing eggs. All right. Peaches, will you let me walk? <sighs> Come on, let's go. Mm. Here's the other little garden. It's got Shasta daisies coming back in it. And uh, it's got a little lilac bush there and um, some other little plants I can't remember the names of them right now <laughs> lady ah come on peaches for you guys wondering about spike and fluffy they are doing well uh, they had code this winter so they ended up when it got really, really cold, they end up in a crate inside the garage. And since they're both tomcats, we're going to have them neutered before they can come back out because we've got three other tomcats running around here. And since those two are so small, I'm afraid that they'll be hurt by the other toms. So we're keeping them inside the garage until we get them neutered. And then they can be out. But they're doing fine. We have 
won't be long until this lilac bush will be bursting with lilacs. We trimmed it back this past winter and it is just loaded. I do have one section that did die out. It was quite old. I thought it was dead last year, but I wasn't for sure. Decided not to take it out until uh, after the leaves burst forth so I know exactly which part is dead and which isn't and how far back to cut it. So mm, give it about another week and then I'll make sure all the sap is no longer running up towards the uh, top of the branches and then I'll cut it back to where it's to live wood. So that's what I've been doing outside. That's all that's going on in the garden area for the spring. We've got upstairs, we've got a bunch of tomatoes started, peppers started, flowers started. The whole area is just covered. So stay tuned for, and next week maybe I'll show you all the little plants that I've got upstairs. So in the meantime, remember to dream big, follow that dream, subscribe to the channel if you would, share it with your friends, it really helps the channel and give it a thumbs up. That helps immensely. So remember, dream big, follow that dream, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody.